What's up, YouTube? Chris Hall here, back with another video. And behind me, I have a Skag 52 inch. And of course, y'all know my Bobcat 48 inch. So one of my buddies, man, he actually let me hold his uh, 52 Skag. We had a conversation and we was talking about belt drive versus hydraulic. And his Skag is hydraulic and my Bobcat is uh, belt driven. Today, I had the opportunity to take the Skag with me and use it on a couple of properties just to kind of see how I like it. Um, hydraulic versus the belt. So I figured I um, just kind of give a quick little review on it and uh, let me know what you guys thought. Guys, please excuse the grass. As I mentioned, I just got finished using it. So it is a little dirty. It's been making me money today. So it's not gonna be as pretty. So I figure I'll hop right into it. So like I mentioned guys, this is the Skag 52 inch hydraulic. Uh, it has a Kawasaki engine on it. And all in all, it's a good mower. But one thing that I can say, it's definitely stronger than my Bobcat for sure. This mower has some power behind it. When it comes to the pulling, I had no problem with that, dude. No problem. Sometimes with my Bobcat, if it's wet or if the grass is high, I might get stuck in the spot and I have to like physically push the mower. But with this Skag, nah, man, this thing will carry me up a hill. No problem, dude. No problem. It pulls great. It pulls great. So that's one thing I can say when it comes to belt drive versus hydraulic. The hydro is way easier, dude. Way easier. The next thing I like about this mower, it's very easy to control. Very easy to control. Whenever you want to turn right or left, very lightly on the controls. Come down here, you just barely have to pull this in and it's ready to turn. Just barely. It don't take much at all. And it'll swing around. So it's very quick. It's very quick on command. Whatever you choose for the controls, it snaps right into play. So I do like that. A little bit too quick for me actually. I had to get used to it just because the reaction time was so fast. Versus the belt drive, when you push that thing in the gear, you gotta wait for a second for it to actually engage. But the hydro is already there. So you don't have to worry about that. So on the release, it's definitely quicker, dude. It's, it's way quicker. As far as starting it up, it's pretty straightforward. It's just like the Bobcat almost. So you wanna go on switch here. And you, you want to make sure that, that you have uh, these guys right here pointed up. Because if you don't, when you turn it on, it's going to want to take off on you. That's one thing I had to learn. And this right here is your parking brake. So down is ready to go. Up, it's engaged. The Bobcat doesn't have a parking brake. So that's one thing that I do like. Because when it comes to loading it on the trailer, or if you want to stop on the hill for a quick second, boom. Drop that parking brake and you'll be good to go. Uh, versus the Bobcat, there is no parking brake. Usually when I load it onto the um, trailer, I put it in gear. So like right now, see that? It's in gear, so it ain't gonna go nowhere. But put it in neutral, it'll roll. Prime example, we downhill, it'll roll. So make sure it's in gear, it won't go nowhere. Hydro, you don't have to worry about that. She ain't moving, boy. She is not moving. And when it comes to, uh, here's your choke right here. Your throttle control. If you put this boy all the way down, oh man, it will fly. It will fly. There's no way that you can run it all the way in fast if you don't have the wheels behind you. 
I did use the wheels today just because I have them. But it'll 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 go too fast, dude. It'll go way too fast. So the gear that you're seeing right now, you see it's kind of low. That's where I kept it because I can maintain it. And uh I feel like if it's going too fast, you're gonna miss stuff when you cut. So I'd rather cut slow than have to cut twice, you know. Just because you're going too fast and you're missing stuff. But um yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So like I said, just on switch here. Uh, then you have your hydro engage. And like I said, if you don't engage these jokers, it will, it'll shoot off on you. So engage those, speed control, and then your brake. Um, as soon as you turn it on, man, it's ready to go. Versus the uh, Bobcat, you know, you actually gotta put it in gear. I use my knee to slap the Bobcat in gear, but this right here is more so like your I don't really want to say throttle control because that's what the choke is. Your speed control. This this is your speed control right here. So you use this to uh, dictate how fast you want to go. But it's a beast, man. This thing will run, dude. It pulls great. And that's that's my main issue, you know, um, when it comes to belt drive versus hydro. If you don't have good belts, then it's not going to pull like it's supposed to. And honestly, guys, I could use some new belts. It's about that time. So I'll just give y'all a quick demonstration on how I would turn the Bobcat on versus how you would turn the uh, Skag Hydro on. Uh, so same situation, you wanna make sure your switch is on, choke is all the way up, and this Bobcat has to be in neutral. If it's not in neutral, it won't start. Then put it in neutral, give it a good manly pull, and then uh, it'll start right up. And when you get ready to put it in gear, like I said, I use my knee. I slap it right in the two and then the belts start turning and then she'll be on her way versus that hydro as soon as you turn it on man it's ready to go it's ready to go this skag right here is definitely a workhorse though i can't say that like i said guys it's a 52 inch 52 inch deck my first time running something this big but honestly i i can adapt to anything after i made a couple passes i felt like i was using my more so i like it though that the hydro is quick man it's quick it's automatic 52 inch scat kawasaki engine 19.0 In the future, I definitely plan on switching to hydro. If I can find me a 48 inch uh, hydro Bobcat, I'll be straight, man. I'll be straight. Oh, one thing I can say, guys, when it comes to the cutting, I honestly feel like this Bobcat has the skag beat. I don't know if it's the blades on this skag might be dull versus the Bobcat, but I just feel like with that bobcat man it's a cleaner pass one thing i did notice today this scad gave me some trouble when it came to the dips it would dig into the ground some you know uh you know sometimes when you cut your deck will uh grab onto the hill this joker right here i, I really had to watch for that um because when it came to the dips it would really catch man and it, it'll leave marks so i had to watch for that but once i got used to it though it wasn't no issue my Bobcat, that's really not the case with this. Um, I don't really have issues with it, man, when it comes to dips and hills. They just take it like it's supposed to. Pretty easy. Look, the gang's all here. Macho. Come here, boy. Let me know what you guys prefer in the comments. Either hydro or belt driven. I thought I left out here how it's sound when it's running. Low idle. 
I will put it on low every time I load it on the trailer, man, just because your levers are so light. If you pull on a lever the wrong way, man, it, is, it can either jerk you right or jerk you left. Next thing you know, you into the side of the trailer wall. So I put it down on low revolution uh, just so I can load it on the trailer without it biting so much, you know? I figure I'll let you hear how the Bobcat sounds too. This is right here. This is my baby right here. Low idle. She purring, boy. I put that new air filter on there. Change that spark plug. She's been running like a horse ever since. You made it this far to the video. Please take the time to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Be different, guys. Stay positive. I'll catch you on the next one. So we out here where they build the highway.